Hey, welcome everybody. Rob here for another week of our BSP U call. Excited to be with you. Today, we're going to be going into depth um, on launching a book funnel. And in particular, one of our uh, clients, BSP clients, and um, just a, a great lady, Gina Lester, shared with me her book funnel and um, asked me for some advice. And uh, I'm always happy to give advice, but one thing that I always request is if I'm going to give advice, I would like to do that in a public manner so that I can show all of you, uh, my BSP clients, um, what to look out for and uh, what changes or, or things you need to be aware of when creating your own book funnel. So I'm gonna share my screen. I want to ask a quick favor before we dive in the book funnel stuff, but I have a lot to share. I got a full notebook page of notes here. Gina gave me a lot of information. Unfortunately, she couldn't be on this call today, although I think she's going to try to jump on uh, while we're going. So let me share, share my screen. I want to uh, first ask a favor, if you would, please, for any of you who listen to podcasts, I've just, uh, after much arm twisting and years of delay, launched my Publish, Promote, Profit podcast. Uh, it is, of course, on Apple, iTunes, but it's also Spotify and every other place that you can listen to a podcast. I would love it. It would mean the world to me if uh, you guys would uh, take a minute and uh, listen to an episode or two. Um, obviously, if you would subscribe to the podcast, we're releasing new podcast episodes twice a week, though I think we will be upping that because I'm doing a lot of podcast episodes. I just interviewed Kevin Harrington, which was fantastic. Carrie Wilkerson, the Barefoot Executive, very excited about her podcast. She's a dear friend as well. And um, so if you would, offer me a review, uh, subscribe to the podcast. It's right there uh, in our Bestseller Mastermind page. So just click it. You'll go right to it. Please take a minute and do that. Comment below also. Uh, for those of you who do have your own podcast, um, you know, we're always available to help you book guests of our best selling author clients. So, for those of you that have podcasts and would like guests, we can help you with that. Our, our PR team does that. Those of you that uh, have podcasts or are looking to be guests, then we can maybe help facilitate that as well. But please take a minute and do that for me. It would mean the world to me. Okay, so let's start. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a full breakdown of. Uh, Gina Lester's book funnel. I probably should have had this pulled up, but why don't I just go ahead and do it now? Um, just so you guys know who Gina is. So uh, Gina is uh, the best-selling author of a book on uh, college admissions, college admission secrets. There it is right there. Uh, we helped uh, Gina launch this book uh, around the middle of last year. It's done exceptionally well. Uh, for her. And um, what I love about Gina is uh, she is such an action taker. And so uh, one of the things that we did right out of the gate, and I'm actually going to be talking a little bit about this. Uh, I'm talking to Gina, but I'm talking to all of you as well. Um, but one of the things I'm going to be talking about is Gina's offer because she's given me a little bit of, of uh, information on all of what she's selling within her book funnel. Uh, so that you know, and maybe the best way to begin is a book funnel is a great way not to sell your book, but to use your book to sell something uh, higher priced, whether it's bringing them in for a done for you service that you offer, bringing uh, a, a potential client in for uh, coaching or consulting of some kind. Your book is this incredible tool, which places you on a platform in front of your ideal client. It's an easy way for them to enter your world. It costs very little. And in the case of a book funnel, typically what we suggest is that either A, you do it as a digital version of the book and offer a steep discount, meaning that maybe you sell it for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars for the digital version. Or in Gina's case, and in the case of, of my book, Publish Pro Profit, uh, it's a free plus shipping funnel. And basically what that means is you charge somewhere in the range of $7.95 uh, for shipping only, and you offer the book for free. Now, obviously, they can buy the book on Amazon and various other places. So you want to make sure that what you're charging for shipping, say $7.95, 
is considerably less than what they would be paying for it if they were going through Amazon. And in Gina's case, you can see right here, it's offered retail for $24.95, but someone can get it for just paying the uh, shipping charge of $7.95. So Gina built out this funnel on ClickFunnels. Uh, I believe she used um, a couple of the various funnel shares that we have. For any of you that are um, ClickFunnels users, or if you're looking for a tool, there are lots of tools. Uh, I use ClickFunnels. One of the main reasons that I use ClickFunnels, uh, besides my uh, friendship with Russell Brunson and, and uh, our relationship, you know, going back uh, to the beginning of ClickFunnels, Besides all of that, it is the easiest tool that I have found to where you can share funnels with others. So if somebody has a working funnel, you can share that with somebody else. All they have to do is add a code and that funnel will appear in their software. Uh, and so all of my funnels, funnels that I have spent millions of dollars in advertising cost on, all of my funnels are available to you, my BSP clients, but you do have to have a a ClickFunnels um, uh, subscription, which starts at 97 bucks, I believe. And there are various uh, offers that Russell makes. If any of you are interested in that, uh, I can give you a link to where you can get either a, a two week um, uh, free trial of it, uh, or I can give you a link to getting some free trainings and all uh, various other kinds of things from them at a, at a steep discount. If you want that, then I can post that link. That's not what I'm here to tell you. I'm just here to tell you that everything that I do is in ClickFunnels. And if you want anything, uh, if you want a funnel like Gina's funnel, which she used my funnel as a basis for, then uh, ClickFunnels is the easiest tool that I know of to use. So let's go through this. I want to give you some numbers first. And, uh, and then uh, break down each of the pages of Gina's funnel and, uh, and give some suggestions to Gina and to, to you uh, if you're either in the process of building one or thinking about that uh, for the future. So her average um, cost per acquisition, meaning she is spending money on paid advertising to get buyers of her book. Uh, her cost per acquisition ranges between $24 and $37. Obviously, $37 is significantly more than $24. Um, we, I don't have any details as to the type of advertising that Gina is doing. There's probably a lot I could help her with and share about uh, her ads, her copy, her audiences, et cetera. But obviously, she has a range there because she's testing some things. She's been running um, paid advertising on Facebook and Instagram to this funnel for five weeks now. So she's you know, really doing a lot of testing and she's, she's significantly profitable at this point, which is obviously very good. Her average order value is $20 and 71 cents. Now, um, $20 and 71 cents obviously doesn't come from just a $7 and 95 cent uh, shipping fee. There are a number of upsells and downsells that Gina has within the funnel. I'm going to share those with you. But it all averages out to every single person that ends up giving her $7.95, on average, gives her a total of $20.71. Why is this important? It's important because it, it shows you how much you're able to spend to get a book buyer. Okay, In Gina's case, if she's spending $24 to get a book buyer and her average cart value is $20.71, then she's losing about $4 for every book buyer that she's getting. Now, you may say, well, that's terrible. Actually, that's pretty fantastic. Reason being, because of what I'm going to share with you in a minute, is she is selling more expensive items on the back end. That's why I said it's not about selling your book or even the products. What it is, it's, it's about bringing people to you that are raising their hand and doing the thing that is the most uh, important signal that they're serious, and that's reaching in their pocket, getting their credit card out of their wallet, and putting the digits in. That is somebody that is saying, I I'm more serious than just putting an email address in. I'm so serious, I'm going to put a credit card in. These are your best potential buyers to buy your more expensive things. So Gina sells, at this point, a uh, $4,000 uh, group coaching program, through this funnel, she sold four of those. So that's $16,000. And she also has a $99 per month uh, membership program. And she sold eight of those. So that's an additional $800 a month 
And I don't know how long those people will stay. On average, they stay three to four months. That's industry average. So let's say they stay for three months. So that's another $2,400. So if Gina, let's say Gina is losing, you know, $10 for every person that comes in the funnel. She didn't tell me how many have come in, but it isn't that many at this point. Um, and she's making on the back end $18,500. You can, you can lose a lot of $10 bills to make $18,500 in additional sales in one month, basically a five week period. So I, I, again, I don't know what the, her exact numbers are because I didn't get that far, but I know she's only spent a little bit of money on traffic and she's almost break even, but not quite break even. Break even is the, the holy grail of having an online funnel because that means that all of your high quality leads are completely free, which is the holy grail of this. Uh, that happens very rarely. It's totally okay to go a little bit on the hole in the hole on the front end, as long as you know that what you're selling on the back end is very valuable and you have your offer dialed in, which Gina is still dialing hers in. Now, let me give you a few other numbers, and then we're going to go through each of these pages. Her sales page, which is this page right here, this is the, the first page that someone comes to where Gina is asking for this information. She has a two-minute video on here. She has quite a bit of information that you know shares about the value of the book, right? These are actual uh, Amazon reviews, which is fantastic. You want to use those. Uh, she has, you know, some quotes in here and, and dreams that people are looking for. There's some information about uh, Dr. Gina and, and how much she has done in this field. There's information uh, about what they're going to receive in the book. Uh, you'll see quite a bit of that. And then, of course, uh, basically uh, ends uh, with, uh, you know, that there's a, a limited time and there's a crazy guarantee. Uh, they'll even get their $7.95 refunded if they're uh, not happy with the purchase, which is totally fine to do. So 9% of all the people that come to this page actually give her $7.95. Okay, 9%. That's nine out of 100. This is where, um, in some cases, the, the make or break is 9% isn't bad, but you, you should be able to get that to 10, 11, uh, even 12%. Now, it will affect your average uh, cart value. It will affect your, your uh, average uh, overall value because if you can raise it, say, by 20% and get uh, an additional, uh, you know, two people per 100 to actually go through the entire process, not just put this information in, but actually buy it, that will raise her average cart value. That, that little 2% bump on the front end will raise her cart value by about $4, which is significant. So you want to be able, going from 9 to, say, 11%, you want to be able to, um, uh, you know, in every way possible, find these little tweaks. So let me just, for one moment, uh, share what I think may be helpful for Gina's page. And I'm going to go over to my book funnel. So this is my book funnel. And we were running somewhere between 10 and 11% uh, purchase on uh, my book funnel. You'll see a lot of uh, similarities. I like having testimonials. That's one thing that I don't see a lot of on Gina's page. I do see, you know, some of the Amazon reviews, which I have. I think it would be very, very helpful to have some actual testimonials on this page. Uh, as I said, you know, this is something I have Russell's, Kevin Harrington's, Taki Moore's. This is something I think Gina could do right out of the gate that would be uh, very, very helpful. Uh, adding some type of high valued bonus. Uh, for the buyers. People love bonuses. You can see free book, publish, promote profit, plus three bonus trainings valued at $1,197. So I have these three bonus trainings, uh, which honestly, I mean, they're really, really high value. I have this uh, secret training that, uh, uh, that, you know, a Facebook ads expert did about using Facebook to grow your business. I have this entire thing I call the the Book Funnel Master's Secret Vault, which is basically just dozens and dozens of these free plus shipping funnels that I have gone through. I have recorded everything. I've purchased everything just so I could see what other people are doing and what works and doesn't work. By the way, I'm not trying to sell you guys on any of this stuff. You have access to all of it. 
Um, and then I have this uh, book yourself on TV and media course, and I'm giving all of that for free for someone just to purchase my book. So one thing, two things that I think could really help Gina um, right out of the gate um, to maybe bump from 9% to say 11 or 12 are number one, more social proof like videos from people, you'll see a bunch more here, videos from people holding the book up, talking about the book, uh, talking about me, talking about bestseller publishing, more social proof really, really helps. So I think number one, if Gina put some social proof in here, it would be significant. And number two, I think if Gina put some type of cool um, value added bonus in there that really bumps up Right now, basically, they're getting a $24 book for $7.95. And that's cool, but imagine you could bump up the value of the offer to $300 or $400 by including multiple trainings in there that they get that, that doesn't cost you anything to deliver. That could increase your um, uh, sales page to say, you know, another 20 or 30%, which is a significant amount when you're using paid advertising to run traffic. So those are the two changes that I would make on the first page, social proof and bonuses. Let's go to the second. So here, after you put in, after you fill out this information, you then go to the credit card page. And what we have here is we have what's called the order bump. Now her order bump, this little thing right here, is uh, converting at uh, the $17 offer, one-time offers, converting at 29%. That is outstanding. I wouldn't change a thing. I might even test a little bit of a higher price to see if you know there's a sweet spot, but 29% is fantastic. That means that three out of every 10 people that end up buying the book for $7.95 are paying an extra 17 bucks right out of the gate. That is fantastic. So uh, obviously that means that this offer is super resonating. And I love the idea of having a workbook as the order bump. So that's something great for, for you to think about. Those of you that are going to build a book funnel, a workbook on the back of you giving away your book. They've already said, I want a book. Now you're saying, okay, well, how about another book, a workbook that, can help you to actually get closer to what it is that you want. So 29% wouldn't do anything with that. So then they choose whether to take it or not. All they need to do is click that link and they get it. They put their credit card information in and then they go to the next uh, page, which is the uh, first one-time offer, okay? Now this is uh, Gina's, um, I think this is called her toolkit, right? Yeah, toolkit. So her toolkit is a $37 offer and it is converting at 11%. That means that um, 11 out of 100 people are taking this. That is low. I think that this could be doubled. Our um, first one-time offer was this. Uh, it was the audio version of the book of Publish, Promote, Profit and this um, six-part training course that I did, which is like, 16 hours of additional content that I put a $1,982 value on because I broke it down by each two hour training that I did. And when you break things down for people and they can, they can grasp the value of what it is that you're offering, then you can get a much higher a take rate on that upsell. So mine was $47. This is my first one-time offer. And we had almost 20% of all of our buyers take this offer. So what we, what we have as a problem with Gina's offer is number one, there's not much of a spread between the regular price and this special one-time offer, right? This is regularly priced at 47 bucks, special one-time offer, $37. You know, for the most part, it's almost not worth getting the special offer because you can say to yourself, you know what, let me go ahead and check out the rest of Gina's stuff. And I can always go buy, go back and buy it for $47. So it doesn't give people enough incentive to take advantage right now of this offer. So what should Gina do? Well, a couple of things. Number one is I went and looked, I read through what she's offering them. And I watched this video. It's like a hundred different worksheets. I mean, it's, it's like this massive, massive value. I, I think what you should do, Gina, 
And if I were in your position and I did the exact thing is I went in our various offers here, I went and I broke down every single little thing that I was giving them, uh, you know, like the various courses. And I put a dollar amount on each one of these courses. That's where I came up with $1,982. In this case, I went, uh, this is for our coaching. This was the, the overall upsell. And I talked about how there were 56 content packed modules. And I went and I put a market value on every one of these modules, 47 bucks, 97 bucks, 197 bucks. I think what Gina could do is I think Gina could go back and she could break down these worksheets, the hundred and something worksheets that she has, and even break them down into classes or categories. Maybe there are, are six classes or six categories or 10 or however many, and, and you list each one of those, and then you put a dollar amount on each one of those, those categories. Okay, for these 10 worksheets, you're going to get this result and this result and this result and this result. And the retail value of that is $97. Great. And then for this category of worksheets, you're going to get this result and this result and this result, much like I, I've done right here, right? Much like this. Here's what you're going to get. When you go over BSP, uh, the foundation um, in this session are the foundational tools and concepts to get your book written right that will propel your business and status. Some really cool stuff you'll learn. You'll identify the real problem. You'll find the right bait for the right critter, blah, blah, blah. If she does that for each category or class of worksheets, then she can put a price on each one of those things. And now what she's done, because you, you look at you look at this and you think, my, I look at it and I think, okay, $47 worth of stuff for $37. I'm not even interested really in, in finding out what it is that, that the offer is. However, the video is good. If, if what Gina did is break all of that down and put a value of $497 or $997 because she really shows the value of each one of those things, now the special one-time offer of $37 makes a ton of sense. The other thing that all of you should do and that Gina, I do not see you doing is I don't see you offering the audio version of your book. Now, that probably means you didn't create it yet, which is totally fine. Uh, what you can do is you can simply pay a voiceover actor so you don't have to do it yourself to read your book and, and set it up in an MP3 and then have it delivered you know, through the, this funnel. That's exactly what I did. Yeah, it cost a thousand bucks or 1500, but I sold, I sold like $100,000 worth of my audio book over a 18 month period, simply because I had it as part of my $47 upsell. That is this upsell right here. So your first upsell or a bonus would be a great, uh, a great bonus or your first upsell would be the audio version of your book. I don't see that anywhere, Gina. And for those of you that are building a book funnel, make sure that you have uh, an audio version of your book, either as a bonus or as maybe your first one-time offer along with, like I did, I didn't want to just make it the audio version of the book. I wanted to add all these other cool things. So I made it irresistible for people to pay me 47 bucks. And about 20% of all the people that bought also bought the audio version and the trainings. So I think Gina can double from 11% all the way up to 20% and considerably raise her average order value there. Last but not least is Gina's um, final upsell, which is her head of class. Uh, this is, and she does a better job here. This is regularly $497. She's offering it for this ridiculously low cost of 97 bucks. Listen to this, 29% of the buyers take this offer. 29%, that, that is incredible. So if you're, that means that the people that are buying this stuff, they see value. They're not afraid of spending an additional 97 bucks. So I think Gina, if you, if you clean up, I wouldn't change anything here, but if you clean up this uh, first offer, then you'll be able to considerably raise your average order value. There's nothing you need to change here because 29% is, uh, is pretty amazing. That is uh, fantastic. Um, on a $97 offer, if you can get five to 10%, uh, I wouldn't uh, mess with it very much. Okay. Last but not least, this is the final page, which Gina's sending people to her uh, Facebook page. 
um, to get more college tips, which is great because you want to stay connected to people. And then, of course, you have, you know, check your email box and blah, blah, blah. So here's the, 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 the thing that I would suggest, and this won't necessarily work for Gina. It depends on what Gina wants to do. But this is like really valuable real estate that you have here, okay? And uh, let's see if I, let me show you mine. This um, really valuable real estate needs to be used. So here's mine. This is the last page. The last page is where I am suggesting that people book a free strategy session and watch this free uh, training that I give them. And this is like a 45 to 60 minute video that many of you have watched that basically explains step by step how bestseller publishing does what we do. Now, it also has their purchase details. You, you need to give that to them. But this, this everyone wants to get to this page. Um, because they want to know, okay, how do I access what I purchased? So you should have something on there that takes them to the next step. Now, Gina has told me um, that she doesn't want to do any more one-to-one. -one. And right now, the offer that she wants to focus on is her uh, $4,000 group coaching and her $99 a month membership. And that's fine, except what I would say to Gina and what I would say to all of you is if you're not going to have a much higher ticket, which Gina has had a 15000 and I think up to $20,000 higher ticket, which is one-on-one, -on -one, then you need to have something higher than $4,000 for people to buy, uh, even if it is in a group setting. And so I think, Gina, this we need to talk maybe a little bit more about your offer, but 4000 as the very, very top end of your offer is not enough. What you should be doing is if it's 4000 bucks and it's in a group, fantastic, then I would make the group end for them. In other words, get them a great result in eight weeks. So for 4000 bucks, you get to be in uh, Gina's you know, uh, Get Into College Accelerator Program, which is eight weeks long. It's group coaching with Gina and or Gina's team. And at the end of those eight weeks uh, that you move them into the next thing, which maybe is they get to stay in the group coaching and it's only a thousand bucks a month or 1500 bucks a month or something like that. But you can't give them like a year or two years of group coaching for 4,000 bucks. That is unreasonable and, and it won't be good for your business. Uh, plus, it's as much value as you're offering to people uh, for people to stay and stay engaged. They need to keep paying you because you're helping people so much get their kids into college. Uh, for, for those of you that are still working out your offers and considering all that you're doing, a great way to have a three to $10,000 offer that is your first step of high ticket is to make it an offer that ends that gets people one amazing result. And in Gina's case, it could very easily, in your case, it could very easily be an eight-week accelerator program with a lot of hands-on help. It gets them a great result in that eight-week period, right? Uh, and then after that, uh, they get their great result. They're happy. They love what you've done for them because people are most engaged in the first eight weeks anyway. And then you get them into the next thing, which is ongoing support so that you can help them to actually cross the finish line, whatever that finish line is for the thing that you're selling. So what I would do right now, everything that Gene is doing with this funnel is basically taking people from this funnel and moving them into a challenge and then selling them uh, in the challenge into the $4,000 offer. I, I don't know. It, it's certainly hard to sell people into a $4,000 offer with just a video, right? Um, so I, I think probably you do need to either have a sales team that has, you know, an initial call with people, which I know at this point, you don't, you're not doing that. And I know you don't want to be the one to actually do those calls. And that's totally, totally fine. For those of you that don't mind, I would highly recommend that that's what you do. You have a video on this page, just like I have. It then moves people into, you know, this is an unadvertised bonus. Watch this training now. It then moves people into a free strategy session where they can then set up a call with you to see if they're a fit for your higher ticket thing, right? Your, your coaching, your consulting, your services, whatever it is. Gina, in your case, I think we need to consider that you have maybe a much higher ticket thing. 
And I'm not talking about one-on-one. I know you don't want to do one-on-one and, and I don't think you should do one-on-one. I don't think anybody should, but I do think that the $4,000 group coaching is not enough. If it were 4,000 for eight weeks, and then it were another thousand or 1500 a month for the next eight months. Well, now you're talking about something that's 16,000 for a year or 20,000 for a year. And you know what? You could sell that in a uh, a, a sales consultative sales call. Now I know you don't want to do it, but setting up sales team is not that difficult to do. If you know the steps for those of you that are interested in doing these calls yourself, that's exactly how I would do it. I would, um, take them through the book funnel, have them watch the last training, and then move them into a call with you. These are your most qualified people. These are the people that are that have already voted with their wallets that they're really interested in you and what you have to offer. Okay, so that's a lot of words, but that is the book funnel. Uh, I do have uh, some more in-depth training on how I built my book funnel out and details on it, but I think this is at least a really good start going through Gina's funnel so all of you can see, you know, exactly what you should pay attention to in building your funnel out.